All right, here we go. This is the run. This is the run. Let's get it going. Yo, we fast forward airships? No, we're gonna leave it the whole time. Yeah, what was in my vaccine? Oh, snap. All right. On world record pace, we got one one. Look at my, look at my Did face, guys. Food? That was insane. I have no idea what's happening. Look at my stupid face right now, pretending like one two is a good level. Look at how happy I am doing one two right now. Oh yeah, I'm having a great time. Yeah, one three, back in world one again. Yeah, he doesn't know yet. What an idiot. We just spoil it for him. Yeah, go back, go into the playback chat, <laughs> loser. I just saw the thumbnail WTF. No, Rancor, yeah, man. Rancor, I didn't frame perfect split this time in Bowser's Castle, I, I did it late. It might be a 109.37. I feel like every single thing in this in this run worked. Like I'm pretty sure I even got the thing. Right? I got the thing. I got an off-screen wand grab. I got four five. I got five one. Nope, I didn't get the thing. Alright, so this went pretty okay. Nice. If Hacks was here, look, you can like do a turn back. That's what I did there. I thought that helped quite a bit. So I think that might be like a pretty good strat if you see an early hammer. I just thought of doing it there. Like I'd never really turned back before, but I think that works pretty well. Oh, you guys, you guys honestly see my, my heart rate there. Remember I put my hand up after like, what, what level did I put my hand up? And it was like, fucking, I was so nervous. Fuck off, headset. God damn it. I don't even use you anymore. Yeah, tried to give me flowers. Typical world one. So, so what were what were we talking about? World World Two and Three gave me awesome RNG, and then we were like, World Four is going to give me shit because Two and Three gave me good, but World Four gave me pretty good RNG, and then that's when World Five. World 5 gave me bad RNG. I missed 5. No, I didn't miss 5-5. Five five. I missed um I missed the chest, the chest grab in the hammer brother. Mhm. Mm World 5 gave four movements of four in a row and then the hammer brother came across and I fought him before. 5-7, but after 5-6. So I was like, 
that's pretty shit RNG for five, but it's also common too. It's like bad common RNG. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Triwave. I almost jumped out. Yeah, World 6, I'd say was average RNG. I didn't get good RNG, but it wasn't, it didn't, I didn't get a marathon. <laughs> yeah, World 5 and 6 were like... Yo, Supersonic, welcome back for 31 months, thank you. All right, this is where the run starts. You madman! You're a mad lad, yo. Thank you very much, Supersonic. Good to see you. 69 3X. Yeah, we don't know if it's a 38 or a 37. Might be a 39. Is this three world, world records in a week? I don't think so. I know I got one on Sunday and then I got one today. Fucking murder, that's right. So movement of two there, which is pretty shit, but that movement of two actually gears up for a better movement later on. Yeah, it's okay, Raycor, no rush. Oh, we're talking about... We're talking about how bad the Switch Pro Controller D-pads are. That's what we're talking about in stream. So I think I got forward, forward moving bro with star, which is good. Look, so I had a couple extra map movements here, which is like, but I'm getting, I'm, I'm starting to get movements of one and I got backwards bro as well. Yo, thanks, eat my jump. Welcome back for two months. Yeah, I gotta, I think my biggest time save is seven, seven right now. Uh, I think I do a big jump off the turtle shell here as well. Yes, I do. I do a little jump to make sure. So there's actually a little <laughs> bit of time save in World 2. Oh, Force Kitty with the gift sub to Mr. Mighty Mess. Thank you. 1307, 18. 13, 18, and 22. Yeah, see, I'm getting movements of one here. So it's okay. But... But, I've already had technically two extra map inputs. Yo, thanks, Elo. What's up, man? I didn't get Elo, bro, in this run. Unf oh, shoot, right? Dang. Yeah, he moved up. Then he moved back down. And then I think he moved down again. Better try again. No Elo, bro. The sun tried to stop me in 8-2, man. It, I was pixels away from taking damage. Always. That's my biggest enemy is the sun in 8-2. He just knows when I'm on the perfect run. Yep. See, the, all, so I got a lot of movements of one in this world. So overall, world one and two is like... Pretty average so far, but it's hard to go up against a, a World 2 with this many Hammer Brother movements. But he did move down, so I have already done about five extra map movements here. Yeah, I've done five extra map movements here. So that's kind of slow. This would, this would have been a great World 2 if I didn't. And then I got, instead of Elo Bro, I got Left Bro, so that's okay. So again, if you don't get movements of two in this world, you're going to have to hope that you don't do extra map movements in no bumps either. Yeah, a nine, a 949 A press is like, it's, that's pretty average. 
had I had I not done the extra map movements and the movements of one and the bros were like in my path, this probably would have been like a 947 A press, and that's a really good A press. Very nice pyramid. I got the record. Yeah. I got like I don't even know. I don't even want to go up against a 109. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Like, what? Where do I get the off-screen wand grab? In three or? No, I, I get it in two. Sorry, not three. I, I get it in two, don't I? Fast forward? No way. We got to absorb it all. Nope. Normally I would fast forward, but we got to absorb it all. Remember when you said, can I stop bumping in World 7? Yes, I do remember that. Fuck. Two bumps in World 7. My biggest time save in this run is like not bumping 7-9 and realizing I got 7-7 seven, seven first try faster. How would that be better, Ragey Poo? I'd be talking and then the run would be talking constantly over top of it. That fucking sucks, man. You should be here and watch my runs live if you want to get my live commentary of my runs. So I, not my fault. Should be here when I start my stream. So that's actually a faster world too. Now, nah, well, here, let me let me actually just do you a favor here. Let me do you a favor. There you go. Now you can't talk for eight hours. There you go. How's that? That's good. There you go. All right. So we got an off-screen wand grab, but I split probably like 0.5 late. And here we go. Um, nope, I didn't get the frame jump. So I, the frame jump in 3-1 is probably like, what? Five frames saved maybe? I don't think anyone's ever timed it before. I haven't, I'm guessing. <laughs> right on, right on contact juggle. Um, yeah, so we got a lot of movements of one from world two, right? So we got pretty good hammer brother RNG alone, but I had to do extra map movements. And then world three, we got like all movements of one except for one, but we had to do extra map movements. So it's like, do you guys remember in world six, I called out to Kaylee to not bring me lunch because it was a bad time because the run was so good. So ideally I got the perfect Hammer Brother movements for the first two levels. You want to see down, down. Down down means you have a chance of fighting both Hammer Brothers before 3-5 and 3-4, which is like what you want. You don't wanna, you, you, like taking a water battle is fine if you can fight the Hammer Brother before three and three or four and five. That's what you want. But then he moved back up again. So that's great too. So I'm, I'm just getting all movements of one, which is great. All right. Fortress worked, 3-2 three, worked, 3-3, three, three, like most strategies have worked. I think my biggest time save is in World 6 though. No door 3 reset, right? Now I'm starting to get worried because I'm getting good World 3 RNG. I'm like, is he gonna run away? I got bottom pattern, even more time saved. I want him to move down but he moves left and I was like, oh, and then I didn't get the water battle. So I can still get better RNG in this world by like easily a second or two. Um, but all the, it's so hard to go up against all the movements of one, right? Cause it's like, you can get three movements of one and then two movements of two, but fight both hammer brothers, bottom bro pattern before 
three, four, and three, five, and that's better than if you got all movements of one and fought the levels first and went and chased the star, right? Which is what I had to do, right? So this is slower than if I got a couple movements of two, but fought them earlier. So it's like, but I got so many movements of one. So it's like, they like cancel each other out. It was just all around good RNG for worlds two and three so far. Yeah, so the moment I knew this run was really, really good was when I A-pressed on 3-6 at 1541. <laughs> Almost 15 3x. If, if I had fought that Hammer Brother on the water tile before the levels, I might have hit a 1539 A-press. But a 1541 A-press alone is pretty disgusting. Like that, that was a high 41, but that, that's, that's messed up. I pressed seven frames late. So what was my final time? A 109.38.03 or some shit. One oh nine three eight point one six. Okay, so a one oh nine three eight is probably what it's gonna be. Have I tried a no damage run before? I have tried a no damage run. I've done, I've done, um, where I entered a game genie code and I started the game with hammer suit and I can't, I can't lose the hammer suit. Haven't I done that before or did I mess that up? Okay. That didn't get me. That wasn't that close. Jesus, a 1654 A press on five on three seven. That is so stupid. Hey, Ziltama, thank you for the 1000 bits. Yeah, who, who says world records don't pay? You know, make a little bit of extra money when you get the world record, not a big deal. Sub 17, sub 1720 A press in this level is pretty good. And I got the super swim, so I'm happy about that. Warp list for sub 50. How the hell am I supposed to save 30 seconds? Yo, Louie, what up, dude? You know, Louie, I still did the D-pad inputs for 7-7 seven, seven manipulation. So when I used to do, when I used to do 7-7, seven, seven, when I used to do 7-7, seven, seven, right? I would run into the pipe and then I turn back. But when I ran into the left wall, right? I would keep holding left and then I would turn right and keep holding right. But now what I've been doing is I've been jumping into the left wall and doing neutral frames and then turning right. And it, I still can't say for sure that the sub pixel manipulation 7-7 seven, seven is going to be something that everyone gets first try now, but it's... You should look into Louis's thing because it did give me a better understanding of what exactly I can do for 7-7. Seven, seven, and it has helped me a lot more, like, understand, like, what... Why are you getting it and how are you getting it? It helps a lot. It really is good. Yeah, thanks for the gift sub, Mr. Mighty Mess. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, it just gave me an overall better understanding. I mean, guys, it's not like you could get you you could beat this run with like seven seven fourth try, but you have to get six four three, door three, some more off screen wand grabs. Yo, Zach Mac, think of the ten months. Yeah, look at that idiot in the bottom of the screen. Look at his, like, can you smile? You have no idea what's, I'm pointing at him too. I'm pointing at him. What an idiot. Yeah, look at him. He's smiling, but he has no idea what he's smiling about.
<laughs> Mitch Flower Power, more like freaking Smilers. So because I got, so the reason World 3 saved so much time with the good RNG, but remember, I also got off screen wand grab in World 2. <laughs> what the hell are you smiling at? He's like, he's like, I don't know. I've only been here five minutes. Or no, that's when, oh, no, no, no. That's the Halloween episode when Homer dreams, or he's not in a dream, but everyone is like Ned Flanders in the Halloween episode with the toaster. Right? And they, Flanders is like, all right, everyone, time for your like afternoon smile or something like that. <laughs> and they use like machines to make them smile. Yeah, so the bulk of my time save in World 3 is from off-screen wand grab, but I did get good RNG, but sadly I got extra map movements and I fought the bro a level late. So sadly, it's like, it's the same with World 2. Like I got good RNG in World 2 and 3, but I had to do extra map movements. And it's like, that, that adds up, man. If I didn't have to, it'd be even crazier. You killed zombie Flanders. He was a zombie? What the hell are you smiling at? He's got like the hooks. No, no, the the Lenny, the Lenny is whenever uh, Ned Flanders is like freaking out at everyone for building such a shit house, and he's like, "What's every, what's going on? I've only been here five minutes." I don't know who you are, but I'm sure you're a jerk. <laughs> Yo, monks! Thanks for the gift sub to Ello. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, I think I got the world record because I stopped doing shell grab for one. So that's good. Shah diddly 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 and he just like freaks out. Oh, was that little Lisa Simpson? The answer to a question that nobody asked. All right, so we were we were we were talking about in the run how which world was gonna was gonna saddle up and give me the shittiest RNG, and I thought it was gonna be four, especially after that that first level movement. Normally, when they do that movement, the left and down and then the right, it's like pre-programmed that they're gonna give you a movement of four or like a six, but they move back, so I was like, maybe it's not gonna be world four. I let the turtle live! Oh! Save the animals, that's what it was, remember? I let the turtle live. Just wait, guys, there's a there's one Koopa that I let live in this run, and I specifically say I'm gonna let him live. And I never let him live. So, World 4, we got, so far, all movements of 2 in World 4, which... That's not good RNG, but it's not bad RNG. So it's like, anyone can go up against a world four with all movements of two. That's like, what do you expect, right? I mean, you get movements of one, you'll you'll save time. But I mean, all movements of two is like, it's better than threes and fours. So it's like, it's pretty average. You, you can't complain about movements of two in world four. And I, for the most part, I don't think anyone really does. I mean, it's, there's so many levels. But the important part about World 4 is you want to fight both of the Hammer Brothers before the last three levels. And you don't want to be chasing them. Alright, so I got another movement of two, but they're right there waiting for me, so... That was pretty good. Got the star, and we're, we're hoping him to go right. And he almost went left, but he went right. So I did, I was able to get... That was pretty good RNG, considering he was already facing left. There's very low odds that he was gonna move right. We got P-Speed in 4-5. Yeah, so we got it. So, funny enough, 
uh, Haxer, the, the good run before this one, which was before the World 2 where I reset before this one, I got to World 7 and I was plus 5, and I got 7 one first try, and then for 7 5, I went into my inventory, equipped the P Wing, went back into my inventory, went to equip the Star, but I equipped the Cloud. And I think I remember hearing you saying you did something like that, like last week or early in the week, and the run was just dead. I couldn't. I tried to do it with the Leaf and the Star, but. It's just it's so stupid. So a 2511 A press on this castle is absolutely insane. So I was really hoping I got P speed um, and I did. And I remember specifically after the fortress, somebody asked me like, am I on like a good pace? And a very common A press at the end of this world is a 2550. That's like, that's good, but you want, you want to be in the 25 four X and I was in the 2538, 25 high 38. So that's insane. Anything 4X is like, that's a great run, right? If you A press on a 2549, you're you're on a pretty good run. So I'm 12 seconds above what I would say is par. 2550 is par. I did break it again, yeah. Yo, thanks, Dusseler. Thank you very much, man. Um, did I forget to play an ad on this World 4? Normally I play ads on the World 4 airship, but maybe I did or not. I can't remember. I played it. I played ads. Good. Give me my 45 cents bucks. Maybe we could speed this up a little bit. Maybe we don't have, maybe we won't get a true authentic experience watching the whole World 4 airship. Maybe we'll fast forward a little bit. Yo, thanks, dude. No, I couldn't, I couldn't work in. I got it, man. It's so, oh man. Okay, so a lot of people ask, did you get off screen wand grab? Why did you save so much time in World 4? So in World 4, in my world record before this, wasn't like the best. It wasn't the best World 4, but it was still pretty good. But in this run, I didn't mess up any P-Speed strategies. And then I fought the bros before the last three levels, which again, that that's like the ticket to a good World 4. Just don't get big movements. Movements of two are fine. Hammer Brothers running around all over the place, that's fine. Just don't get big movements and don't, don't mess up the strategies and you should be able to clutch out. So that's kind of where the time save come from. That's about it. We got the Juicy 5-1 P-Speed, but I missed him. So I almost lost P-Speed by running off that block. It was close. So here's where the bad RNG kicks in. We get movement of four. Plus, we have to inventory for the music box. I'm not particularly happy about that. Dude, the guy below me is an idiot on the camera. Idiot. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's got this run right here and he's messing up off screen wand grab in world four. Could have had it. Could have stayed minus seven. The guy's an idiot. Look at him. He's not even looking at the right screen right now. I would. Who are you look what are you looking at? What's what's like if I'm looking right here at my monitor and and dumb Mitch is, what is he looking at? You can clearly tell where my TV is. <laughs> Bullying is never okay, Mitch. Unfollowed. I can bully myself. I'm allowed to. Alright, so we got one movement of four. Had to do extra map movements. Got another juicy movement of four. I knew I was going to get another movement of four because one movement of four normally means another movement of four. So when you get one, it's pretty much two. That's why it's really annoying when you just see one of them. You just don't want to see any of them. Well, I played really well in this world and I didn't play perfectly in the world record before this. 
So there was there was a little bit of time safe for me in World 5. So the time loss in this world doesn't really show properly because I save time by playing well, but I lost time with the Hammer Brother movements. So we're at three movements of four right now, and I'm very unhappy about that. Squad stream with the stupid Mitch someday? No way. Did we make it to 100,000 followers? What are we at? What's our number? We're so close. Bottom Mitch doesn't have world record yet, so... Little does he know. This is Bat's birthday. I know I'm going to go and give him all the loves. All right, there's four movements of four, you freaking asshole. And then I missed the chest here, which is another two-second time loss, unfortunately. So world, world five sucked. Big time save in world five. Still says 99.9. .9. So here's an interesting thing. Here's an interesting thing. 3114, right? The world record that I had that was a 109.56, that world record, A pressed here at 31.11, but that had the two off screen wand grabs, but not so good RNG. So there's, there's so much shit that can go on in 100%. All right, so I knew I was gonna get a world record when I got the second pipe here. Once I hit the second pipe, look at my body right now. Look at bottom Mitch, look at my body, watch. I like moved like I was so into it because it's a stupid pipe. I've missed it like 90% of the time. Like I, when I jumped my body, like it controlled me, it was weird. Okay, so the R so the RNG and 100% warpless are very different in ways. So with warpless, there's RNG and warpless where it's like you guaranteed you cannot PB anymore. No matter how hard you try. 100% doesn't really have that in a sense. If you're if you're plus 15 going to world 5 and you get all movements of 4, okay, yeah, you probably can't PB because of that. But you should continue because you might get clips first try, you might get this. But Warpless doesn't have that. Warpless is 100% like... If you get 3 hands, you're probably not PBing. Sorry. If you get 2 extra bros, you're probably not gonna PB because you fought 2 extra bros and now your items are all over the place. Yo, thanks, milk and cookies. Yeah, I so my kind of gaming concentration is like I, I like use my tongue. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that. Like I move my tongue around a lot. And then yeah, I can like I can like nudge with my jumps. That's like my thing. Am I staying on 100%? Well, with the music that's going on right now, it'd be really sad if I said I was completely retired from 100% forever. I'm not gonna say that because I don't know what can happen in the future. So I don't know, I have no idea what, what will happen in the future, right? I don't, I don't know, maybe people are gonna be like, we can't beat Mitch unless we open up spade card. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Well, you have it now, Spicy Goober. Wee! We're watching it now. So, NES controllers do not have motion set. So that's where, yes, that's where I was very scared. That right there. That was the scariest movement in the run. Was right here. Right? Because I already got four movements of four and movements of two. I got no movements of one. And I really needed to fight this Hammer Brother early. If he went down in there, I would have lost so much time. So that was my one good piece of luck in World 5. Other than that, I didn't get any luck. No, nothing good. I got all bad RNG in World 5. So World 5's a piece of garbage. Well, as long as everyone gives me a follow and sticks around for my continuous streams for World Records and stuff, we're gonna keep doing as much as we can to make an impact in the gaming world. Let's let's keep going. I'm not gonna wanna stop. We gotta go for the Mega Man runs. We got our Kronos run on 
next like Tuesday, we can get the world record there. And you know, there's just so much. The Mario Marathon will start uh, the first weekend of next month. That's three days straight of nonstop Mario games, about 12 hour streams or so. Mario Marathon's dope. Um, it, it will only be the second weekend if I can't get my art stuff worked out. I can't get a hold of my artists. Unfortunately. Nice try. You're not gonna can't get me with the D's nuts. So no, you're not gonna get it this time. Why does what always happen to me? Yeah, no problem, Kavinicus. Thank you. Thank you for your positive words. So this is like an extremely average World 5 at this point. Like, I I did really, really good in the first four worlds. So it seems like this run is like, oh, this is insane for World 5. But like, the World 5 itself is not good. The average run does World 5 probably faster than this. No, BTL makes isn't flaky. I just, he's not responding. I haven't seen him in a couple days. I liked it when he was more a part of the streams, so I just have to see what he's up to, what's been going on with him. Does landing before pipes give you faster pipe entries? No, what it does is it lets me keep P-Speed on the other side of the pipe. Congrats. Yo, Billy Blankum, thank you for the two months. Yo, Chips, two dicks. And thank you guys all for the support, the, the subs and the bits and all that stuff. Really appreciate it. I did get the record. I got a great record. This is like exactly what I, what I was asking for, man. When I entered... When I entered the airship on World 7 and it was like, it was a sub like 57 or something. I was like, Jesus, this is so stupid. And I didn't mess up 7-8. Remember, remember what I said yesterday for 7-8, I was no longer going to do that big jump past the pipe. I even said it in Discord and today I didn't do it and I didn't mess up the level. Fuck that jump. There's no point. The jumps don't save time. The other one's way more comfortable, too. So it's, yeah. Right, so I gotta, I gotta have been a lot further ahead. But the way Mario 3 works is like, if I would have got way better RNG in World 5, I could have got a 45 second marathon in World 6. You gotta, you gotta roll with what you got, you know? You definitely got to roll with what you got. Yeah, it's the Prana Plant jump when you have the second P-Speed. It's like after the nipper. It's like the jump off the pipe where you normally go into the hammer suit pipe. I was doing like a full big jump, which like I did before, I know, and like I guess it was fine, but like I don't know why I need to do that. There's just no point. Nice, this is where we get 69 coins. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Yeah, and I used to do that before too. I don't know why I switched back to what I did before too. And it like, it worked earlier, like in February. February and March, that's how I was doing it too. And it was like working fine. And then now it's just like, there's no need to, no point. I died in this level yesterday, I remember that. Nice little turn back for safety. It's a good, good idea. So I didn't get good RNG from the Hammer Brothers in this world, but they got their act together near the near the end, watch. So it's like, yeah, movement of two, unfortunately. So 
Remember what I said about world five and four, if you get movements of two, that doesn't really matter. In world six, it does because it's very easy to get movements of one. Another movement of two, and I was like, come on. Every time you get a movement of two, you're like, oh, he's gonna do like a movement of nine, right? So world six is very important to not get movements of two because there's like six levels you do before you fight them. It's very important to get all movements of one. Big time saves for that. But in worlds like World 5 and 4, it's like there's so many levels in such small amount of spaces. World Movements of 2 is like, you're supposed to get them. That's no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, no World 6 marathons. So that's good. That's really good. No World 6 marathons. I couldn't even stand when I got the record. I, I was on the floor. Yeah, this turtle right here, guys. And we were even talking about it. That turtle right there. Epic foreshadowing. Should I kill him? No, not gonna kill him. Not this time. Epic, epic. You've never seen him live once. Karma, baby. I specifically was like, <laughs> that guy deserves to die. I kept them alive and that was it. That was good. I think that was a good decision. I started to get movements of one and then all the clips. It's Bat's birthday, you know. So this is my big mistake in World 6 right here is I didn't get the full big jump um, over, the, over the wall. I wonder how close I was. Uh, I wasn't that close. That was a couple pixels off. Um, so that that would be, I guess, a, uh, I mean, it's not actually that big of a time save, but it's, you know, it's something. Deep RNG manipulation that fixed Hammer Brother movements forever once is understood. Unfortunately, it'd be in World 6, though, so not, not a crazy amount of health. So there you go. I got a, I got a movement of four right there, unfortunately. So I got... Movement of two, movement of two, movement of two, movement of four. So, and I didn't get P speed here. So fuck world six, man. And that literally is the end of my bad RNG. That's it. No more. I got, I got movements of one here, right? I fight the very scary uh, small Mario bottom, bottom pattern, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Yep, I probably almost died there. I mean, fuck. Five and six time saves available. Thick. Mm, I think you're overestimating because my average time right now is so low that I can afford those time losses where an average run, even benefiting from the time saves in five and six won't compare. That's the, that's the tricky part. That's what makes this run stupid right now. Like a 3746 World 5 with all those mistakes. It's like, what the fuck? I got the despawn, so that's good. Like I said, all all like forms of RNG started to work out. But there is some time save, you're right. You're right, Pierce. There's definitely time save in Worlds 5 and 6. So because the Hammer Brother moved off screen, it would be silly for me to move the screen, go fight him and come back. The idea of like, oh, if I kill him, then I'll get one less movement of one, but the amount of movement going over is far less more time, or far more time. Right, if you, if you look at the whole of this run, I probably have, look, I got both bottom patterns too. Yeah, if you look at this run as a whole, I think I got maybe 15 like extra map movements from the Hammer Brothers, right? 15 extra movements. And like, like I said before, guys, nobody, nobody has gotten all movements of one in World 5. Not a single per, I've never seen it. There's been no video clips. Nobody's bragged about it. Nobody's talked about it. Nobody has gotten all movements of one in World 5. So to think that it's like, oh, I have 10 extra movements because if I would have got movements of one in World 5, it's like, that's not even realistic. 
right? I don't even think you're allowed to put all movements of one in a human theory task for World 5. Because it's just not happening. It just doesn't happen. No one's gotten it. I think Stewie Cartman was actually the closest. Yeah, I think Stewie Cartman was the closest. I think he got like five or six movements of one or some shit, and then he got the movement of four. <laughs> just to stick it to him. All movements. Well, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mean like all movements of one, and then you do five, six, movement of one, five, seven, movement of one. I mean like you do all movements of one, and then he crosses five, seven, and then you kill him. Like the most ideal. All right, this level worked. That auto scroller worked pretty good. Yeah, I think Stewie's gotten the most amounts of movements of one in World Five. Oh yeah, it's it's a yeah. I think it's a little easier in Warpless, especially when you music box. So you do like four levels without them moving. Very nice, very nice. I like it. <clears throat> Let's go, man. Holy frig this run. So even though I got pretty, pretty bad RNG, I didn't really mess up any strategies in World 6, which is very important. And I mean like no bumping on the overworld map, no weird inventory, no bad decisions. The only thing was 6-4-1. And I didn't get P-Speed in 6-4, but nobody, nobody, like, nobody cares about 6-4. Six, six, if you don't get it, it's most likely not your fault. But like I keep mentioning, the, the base average of the run, right? So with all those mistakes, well, not so much mistakes, but like the RNG that started to kick my ass in 5 and 6, the base, the base run itself is so far down that it, I could afford to lose that time and still be on like an incredible run. And you can tell by when you enter 610 at a 4602 is like, I'd, I've barely ever even seen a 4602 A press. I think I've seen Zikubi get that. I think that's in his like PB or something. And it's like, that is, I don't even know if that's what he got, but a 4602 A press is insane. So it's like a 4610 A press is still really good, right? So I knew that the, I knew I really needed to get 610 here. I, like when I saw that time, the 4602, the first thing I thought to myself was like, holy shit, the bad RNG actually hasn't been that bad to me. So this run just got really serious. Um, but there's natural time save on the world record in my world six. So I got bad RNG, but I played better, right? Whereas in the world record before this, I got really good RNG, but I, I didn't get 6.3 P-Speed, I didn't get 6.4, map movements were probably weird. Imagine I accidentally jumped out of 7.7, holy. I don't think I would have been very happy. Right, so a 47-10 A-press on the castle, you can't, you... I, I was gonna say you can't ask for anything better than that, but I'm, you shouldn't ask for anything better than that. That's just... Right, a 47-20 a, a A-press on the castle is still really good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, Elo. One of the most interesting time saves that I have in World 7 is I get pipe to pipe in Fast 7-2, but with no delay. That is seriously almost a second time save. Sorry, Yellow. 
Sorry, my dude. Yeah, like an actual legit um, pipe to pipe is a pretty big time save. Yo, Bank Dangles, thank you for the 100 bits. Nice fire kill. Some pixel manipulation, very nice. I split a little early there because I was excited that I finally got an early sub pixel manipulation. And I didn't have to do that stupid turn. Like I hate when you turn left into sub pixel 15 because it's like, did I move or did I not move? You really have to be focused on where you're standing on the floor. Didn't jump for the wad, this guy sucks. Look at my face right now, what are you looking at? I'm wiping my hands right now because I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty. All right, this is where like, I, oh my God, this run. Just when you think this run was amazing, it just got infinitely better the way I played World 7. It's just like insane. Was the screen chugging there? I feel like it was, but like, I don't know if it's just the way I was looking at it. That's sexy 7-1. Always nervous for Fast 7-2. I, I don't care what anyone says. Fast 7-2 is very scary strategy when you get it. All right, check out this pipe to pipe, guys. Serious. That's fast, man. Normally you have to rub and then turn left and go in or you miss pipe to pipe. And then the insta build. That is a fast pipe to pipe. That's a big time save right there. Yeah, that was a time save altogether. Nice, very nice. All right, so I think this is another, I think seven five is another strategy where you see me like move my body when I jump because I really, I really desperately needed this, this strategy to work, right? Obviously. And it's like the easiest clip in the game. <laughs> yeah, look at look at my body when I get the clip. Look at watch watch my body. I like move. <laughs> I like move back. <laughs> I didn't get the coin block, so I was worried, but I didn't get the clip, so it was good there. This is the run where I yell at the fish a lot. You remember? Well, not a lot, but I, I yell. Ooh, clean jump down there, too. God, this World 7 is so mint right now. It's ridiculous. I'm only allowed to brag because of this the world record. It's like, that's it. I'm just so happy about it. Finally. Finally, a run that's an extremely, yo, 5132 A press. That's so stupid. But no, I think what I'm so happy about is like, there's finally a Mario 3 run that perfectly portrays the value of a highly skilled player. Finally. Right? And that was something that Karua wanted to achieve as well. But in his 100%, he would have if he didn't die. And it's just this game has a habit of doing that shit. All right, this is where I yell at the fish. This is where I yell at the fish. <laughs> Go away! Stop! Yeah, I'm just yelling at him. Yeah, I'm just yelling at him so hard. Fucking sea creatures, man. Fuck off. Sorry if you guys dislike my commentary, but, you know, I gotta talk about this shit, you know? Type 1 if you hate my commentary.
<laughs> Two. Aw, oh, you guys are nice. <gasps> I saw one. So these guys worked. I didn't know if I wanted to swim under the coral there, but that's where I like to go. I waited for this guy. I probably shouldn't have, but I mean, I had time, so I figured why not. I made it to 100k followers? No, I didn't. Yo, I bumped right there. I lost time. Yo, we made it to 100k followers. Let's go. Don't you dare unfollow. There's two people waiting to unfollow. Uh, Karua probably would have got like a 109.59 or like a 110.02 or something. Because if you incorporate the like extra menu reset. Not only did I do extra menu, but I moved the star. I pushed the star back to do another extra menu. So I, did, I, I forced myself to do more extra menuing. It's just, it's hard to... Like, what, what, what I did there was good because I didn't hesitate to figure out where my items were. And I didn't know for sure if the star was there. In the first, so it's like, I know where the other star is. So I always just go for that one. So it made me very sad, I know. I think I get good speed here too. Where do I see the number of followers? 99,952, you guys lied to me. I'm, I'm 48 followers away. 48 people follow me right now. Yep, so this level, I saved like three seconds in this level from the world record, because I fell, I fell in that pit. In the world record, Here, you get my mouse on the screen too. See my mouse? So in the world record, I went and I missed this jump and I fell down here, which made me slower, but I built my P speed a little bit later and it made the end of the level, I took damage and I flip flapped and stuff. So it was pretty rough. Big time save here for doing that. You know, you know when I got 7-1, I instantly was like, should I just grab the star in the fortress? This run is too good to waste, but I didn't. I manned up, went for it. And I'm wearing my favorite band shirt, the Mars Volta today. Ooh, look at this, look at this. I don't even want to think about this. I don't even want to think about this. So I'm, I'm neutraling right now. For anyone wondering about like the seven, seven manipulation, I'm neutral, I'm not holding left right here. I'm neutraling on the wall. And then I stopped, and then I started to hold right when I turned right. <laughs> oh, man! It's just so... <gasps> I almost, I almost walked out of it. Imagine. Good thing you can't clip left. I would have walked right out of there. Oh, my God. This was a good seven, seven, nine, too. Look at this. This is a good seven, nine. Yo, Ben, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. I messed this up a little bit, but it barely wasted any time. I messed that up a bit, <laughs> but it gave me the clip. So it's like, what the shit, dude? I got the undergrav and then everything worked out great. What a fast level. That was great. Like, what the shit? Nice bottom grab, thanks man. Big, I know, I love those grabs. All right. My tongue is just like going crazy right now in concentration. Yep, I didn't go for the plant, not worth it. You have to compromise, man. I did an extra big jump there just to make sure I kept my piece of compromise. No fucking dicking around, man. Do you think making a stupid mistake for a stupid precise strategy that saves a stupid small amount of time is worth 7-7? Seven, seven? Nothing is worth 7-7, seven, seven, first try. 
If you ever get 7-7 first try, you do whatever you think you need to do to secure that 7-7. I think I saw Haxer in chat when I did this level. He's like, yeah, fuck doing this without a star. Look at that, 5704A press, right? And then I look at my time and it's a 5935 and I'm like, I'm well over two minutes ahead. Well, no, you just naturally avoid seven nine clips because you have an extremely low odds, like extremely low chances. Imagine I gambled seven nine here. Oh my God, what a dumb. If you ever get 7-7 seven, seven first try, I'll play 7-9 and 7-4-2 like a bitch. Well, I mean, let's not be too drastic. You don't want to play like a bitch, but like, don't, don't overexert, right? Like, I would recommend if you have like a high 110 or a medium 110 and you get 7-7 seven, seven first try, like still P-Wing 7-9 and do it fine. Go for mid clip, but in the Fortress and 7, if you have any doubts or any discomfort, you should definitely just grab the star at the start and you'll get through the Fortress fine. Another new world record, that's right. Well, since we're on this airship, I just want to th thank you guys so much for... Like, all the all the support, all the world record support and the follows and everything. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you so much. We got, we, got, we got a lot of viewers today. You know, give me a follow if you guys enjoy my content, if you guys like what I talk about. Yahoo! Yahoo! Yo, Ben with the 10! Yo, that rhymes. Ben with the 10. Thank you, Ben. Guys, go get, go ahead and give some MFP love for the support. I really appreciate it. I really do. Ben 10, baby. Ben 10. Cowabunga. Yo, the Nays with the Prime Gaming. Yo, guys, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it with your Twitch account. And you can sub to me for free. And then you won't have to watch ads anymore. And you get to use my emotes. What the fuck is that time save? Yippee! I'm just so like out of it. I don't normally get up out of my chair when I save time in Mario 3, but in this instance I had to. I didn't even go for off-screen wall grab. Look at that. Get this choo-choo started. Get this choo-choo started? Well, thanks, man. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for the 100 bits. Old School Zero, thank you for the four months. Welcome back, man. Cowabunga. There you go. See, using the primes, guys. You gotta use the don't waste your primes. You're wasting you're wasting support. Yo, Drayden, thank you for the prime gaming. Um swimming ginger, thank you for the hundred bits. Scam train hype. Save three more seconds on my gold. So I golded by world. I gold, I gold Yippee! world seven by over Yippee. ten seconds. Right, my sum of best went down to a one. What, what did I? What did I gold by? What did I legit gold by? A one oh nine fifteen. Thirteen seconds. That is fucking stupid. That is so stupid. What do you want me to do? What do you, what do you want me to do? I, I just fucking played the game. Hey! Kwaku Pro, thank you for the three months. I hope I didn't botch that, I probably did. Pocket Waffles, thank you for the Prime for six months. Prime it up, guys, fuck. Ketson, thank you for the Prime Gaming, and King Joe with the Prime Gaming. It's free, man, don't waste it. Don't waste it, doesn't cost you anything. You don't gotta watch stupid ads on my stream. You know you guys are going to be watching me in the future. You know you're going to follow and you're going to watch and you're going to get world records and be updated on all the hot topics in the world right now. Yo, M4, thank you for the Prime Gaming for 13 months. Mike with the 1,000 bits. I got a small amount of time in World 5 and 6 to save in this run. No, I didn't. No, this is... 
What you guys are experiencing is the very first World 7 that's worked for someone. And I'm just, I'm glad I brought it home. That's all we needed. That's all anyone ever needed. Yo, there it is. See, Tashira64 with the Prime Gaming. Uh, functional autopilot with the Prime Gaming. Thank you. It's free, man. Fucking use them. They don't auto-renew either, so... Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Heck yeah. That's what that's what every Mario 3 runner is waiting for. A World 7 that works. Well, in 100%. In Warpless, it's a little bit more complicated. 100% is... 100% is all about being consistent enough to get to World 7 a lot so that you have a lot of opportunities to get fucked over until the one that gives you the opportunity, right? What is a World 7? Like, World 7. Like, World 7 in the game. When are we getting a 69 MFP shirt? I don't, I don't know. Incredible I'll think about run. it. Well deserved. Yo, thank you for the Prime Gaming for eight months! Morrison, welcome back, dude, for eight months. Love the support, thank you. Can you still lose world record at this point? Of course. There are a lot of top runners in Mario 3 right now that are definitely, there's there's Mario 3 runners that are not top level that could get to this point that I can already tell, so it's. The task time at 100% is a 104. It could even be you, yeah. A mystery box is anything. It could even be a boat. You have another 36 seconds. Yeah, I, like. No, I didn't go for the Navy clip. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Like I got I got lucky in this run, sure, but I also got unlucky. And 7-7, seven, seven, I guess, is the biggest component of luck. But I mean I haven't really been getting 7-7's seven, first try in my runs, and I've lost a lot of runs to 7-7. Seven, seven, but third try was like the, the the that's what we were getting, right? We were getting third try 7-7 seven, seven a lot. And like 7-1 is manipulatable, so it's not luck. 7-5 is like two subpixels don't work, so it's barely luck at that point. This I was really nervous for this strategy. Look at that. I think that's the most I moved. Look at my body when I get the P-Speed. I really move. <laughs> oh yeah, I needed that. For the good looks. Mastodon Knots, welcome back for six months. Thank you. P-Speed and Hand Trap 1 with a star is a serious strategy. That's a serious time save. A very, very nice time save. So, I don't get the P-Speed in Hand Trap 2, but I get the speed, right? Watch. <laughs> Why? Just give it to me, you piece of shit. <laughs> so I didn't lose that much time. Yo, thanks for the bits. Oh, 100%. Now we're on level four. So yeah, I got pulled in by one hand where in the previous world record, I got no hands. So that's... I was pretty happy to see one hand and get hand one P-Speed. So I know I've lost a little bit of time, but I haven't lost that much time. And the top of my mind right now is 8-1, 8 and I'm home, like, I'm home, right? I'm in the clear. How nervous was I? So incredibly nervous. Yo, thanks for the 400 bits. You guys are killing it. Dende Jr. with 100 bits, thank you. For smashing the 4X, thank you guys. So, do I, do I show my hands after 8-1? There was, there was a certain point during World 8 where all I was thinking about was how much Bowser was going to fuck me over with that jank pattern he does. Yo, Mr. Psycho, thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, you have to do all three hands for 100%. Here, I was also thinking about how I fucked up this pipe entry in my 110 flat run yesterday. Thank God. I was starting to not feel good at this point. I was like, oh man, if this could just be over. What would I have done if I got the impossible pattern? I, there's nothing I can do because you already commit. I would have taken damage and lost the run. 
So there's something weird about 8-1 for me right now. It's like so incredibly free. At, like, I don't, it just feels different because I'm not doing it the super hard way I was doing it before. So it's like dumbed down for me. Oh my God, do you guys see those shakes? Look at my hand. That's how nervous I was. And like, you have to hold the controller and be stiff and calm and firm with your inputs. It's so hard when you're shaking that much. Like so much. Here, I should put it in slow-mo to see how fast it really is. All right, let's see how fast my shakes really are. My God, dude, dude, we're at 0.5 speed. That's 0.5 speed. That's, that's crazy how, like they were, they were shaking like crazy. Oh my God, dude, at 0.5 speed. Yo, imagine I got a fanfare there. How many shakes per minute? I don't even know, let's see. <laughs> Looks like I have like Parkinson's or something. Uh, 0.25 speed. I don't. Well, I don't. It's gonna look less. You know. Yeah. Mm, Snapple. Thank you for the Prime Gaming for five months. See, Prime is free, man. Use your primes. Yo, Shaboy with the Prime Gaming for two months. Welcome back. You see, you gotta use your primes. Oh my God, you guys are crazy right now. Thank you for the 500 bits. Yo, look at the shakes. Let's see the shakes here. They're gonna be less whelming. And then we'll go back to full speed and look at them. Like, I just can't even, like, comprehend what's happening. <laughs> it looks so weird. It looks so weird. It looks so weird, dude. I was so... That's the most... I don't know. Because I got a 50-30 in Warpless and, like no hands so that was pretty all right let's see the shakes now <laughs> so fucked up. yo thanks guys rapid fire shakes yo Stu, thank you very much for the gifts of the gta's 10 shakes by your count That's right, uh, Brad Brains. Yo, Nirvana with the five. Thanks, man. God, you guys are awesome. Don't make me cry. I'm full of chocolate. Don't make me cry. I'm full of chocolate. I don't want to cry my chocolate tears. <laughs> I missed the level. Yeah, that song was close. Let's go back. I missed the level. So that was pretty good. My mind was starting to play tricks on me, which... <clears throat> That's one of the biggest problems with human error is it's like you don't even mean to make a mistake Like when I made when I made one of the jumps I was like, oh my god, did I make it far enough? Like I got to turn back or else I'm gonna die But like the jump was perfectly fine, right? And that's that's I fucking hate that about speedrunning. That's the worst part about speedrunning Yo ocean man, thank you very much. I really appreciate that another 500 bits. Let's fucking go Right, so this jump right here, I was like, I overshot it, I'm gonna fall into the pit. But it's like, I jump there every time, all the time. So I didn't, I didn't cry about it, right? And then I was fine here, and then yeah. And then this, the neutral. If I would have done a full big jump, I, I don't think I would have hit him, but I neutraled. Look at that. What an asshole. <clears throat> what an asshole. Look at that. He even further in my body. There we go. Now we're out. I didn't even give it attention. I didn't mention it. I didn't talk about it. Nothing. I love how not using a star in the Fortra in all categories is the meta now when that was like never ever the meta. So I jumped a little too far on this conveyor to secure the extra like four frames. 
for this jump right here. You see how, and I landed and then the arrow went up, but over the gap it went down. If I was four frames faster, then the arrow would have went down probably around here, but it wouldn't have gone down because I wasn't over the gap, so it would have been fine. And then I also missed that P-Speed in my previous world record, so I knew I was okay. Yippee! Legend mate, keep up the awesome work. Yeah, I stepped on the sun, good. So now I'm just... Everything that can go wrong in World 8 has just passed, except for a bad Bowser pattern. That's all that's left, right? And like I said before, the, the whole mind playing tricks on you, I was like... Oh, I better not mess up the statue strat. What if I run too far on the elevator and run off and have to respawn it? What if I don't do the duck input in the final in the final room before Bowser? You know, that one duck input that'll kill you? Like, I'm thinking all of these things right now, and it's just like, you shouldn't be thinking those things, but you can't help it. It's so stupid. The, the way your mind plays tricks on you when you're gonna succeed, is just, it doesn't make sense to me. It's like humans are natural in self-sabotage because they can't comprehend or believe when they're doing something good or amazing. It, it's so weird. And it's not like, it's not like, oh, I'm so amazing. Like, how can I comprehend it? It's just like, why right now would my brain be filling negatives rather than positives, right? It's just it's so weird. I've, I've been in this situation before, so I know how to deal with it. I'm fine. I'm, I'm like, I know how to deal with it, but it's just, it's weird. Yeah, Bowser's Castle is one of the easiest levels in the game, and it's not hard. I mean, the, the Statue Room Peace Speed's pretty tough. Nice fire kill there, too. So, I pretty much lost my shit when I entered Bowser's Castle at a 109.01 in, like, my world record, that was a 109.58. My 109.58, I entered Bowser's Castle at like, it was like 109, or no, it was 108, like 58 or something. And then here I noticed I entered Bowser's Castle at a 108.38. <laughs> I was losing it here. Everyone in chat is going nuts too. Yo, thanks for that prime sub. I, I probably missed that. I didn't mean to. I didn't mess up the stairs, so a little bit of time save. Of course. I gotta I gotta prove my worth. Right? I have to prove my worth to the one up. It didn't even phase me missing the clip. I am so far ahead. I was like, I don't care. I don't give a shit if I miss that. Slight readjust for Bowser, that's good. Realize SMB3 100% killed on this day by Mitch the Legend. I, I enter the door late too. So it's a 10938.1. So a 10938. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like crawling on the floor here. So what are the levels that I actually messed up? I think I didn't get P-Speed in Hand Trap 2. I didn't get P-Speed in 6-4. I messed up 6-4-1. And I didn't get, I didn't, like that was it. I didn't do Starless Piranha Plant. Like, Physically, there's not much room for you to save in terms of strategy. I don't know. Jesus clip, door three, six, four, three clip, seven, nine. That'll all save you a shit ton of time. Let's do it again. Let's live in an infinite time loop of this.